Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do deductions of a graph with an exponential graph. Now when you're doing deductions, you would see the method is repetitive. It's the same thing over and over. The concepts that you have previously learned, they are just implementing into one drawing. Now when they say they give you that the equation of the parabola is 2x squared minus 8, which means immediately we know that our turning point is at minus 8. If you do x-intercept, you know that we are on 2 and on minus 2. Now they say find the equation of the exponential graph. Now remember I told you with the exponential graph, even though there are three unknowns, usually if they do not give you the unknown or they don't give you an equation, we usually only work with two unknowns. So this is the equation that I am giving you for this graph. We're going to mark it f of x. So how do we do that? We know that q is always your turning points or your asymptotes. But I'm working with the exponential graph, which means that I'm working with the asymptote that is running here. Now what is the equation of that asymptote? It is y is equal to minus 4. So I'm going to have f of x is equal to b to the power of x minus 4. Now how do we solve for b? For b we would use the other point that it cuts and it is cutting at 2. So I'm going to substitute this coordinates which is 2 and 0 into my x and y. 0 is equal to b to the power of 2 minus 4. Take my 4 over, I've got b squared. So we have 2 to the power of 2 is equal to b to the power of 2. Using our exponential rules, we can now cancel the powers so we know b is equal to 2. That is the equation of the exponential graph. We have to rewrite it. So we have f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 4. Now, when they say calculate the length of EF if x is equal to minus 1. Now, on E, we know x is minus 1 and we know on F, x is minus 1. Now, I told you when it's straight line graphs and parabolas, I'd like you to do the subtraction. Okay, if you looked at this graph, I emphasize that when you're doing the parabola in the straight line, I'd like you to take the top graph minus the bottom graph. Now that is for graphs that are quite easy to calculate. So we're saying top minus bottom. Deductions tend to get a bit challenging. You can still say top minus bottom. So if you see which graph is the top, the E graph, which is the exponential graph. So we have 2 to the power of x minus 4 minus, what is my bottom graph? 2x squared minus 8. That will give us the length of EF. So we have our exponential minus our parabola. Now once we have that, let's substitute our x. So we have 2 to the power of minus 1, minus 4, minus, open brackets, 2 into minus 1 squared, minus 8, close brackets. So the length is two and a half. Now let us try. If we put minus one into the x, we'd have two to the power of minus one, which is a half. A half minus four is minus three and a half. And then we're putting the minus one into the parabola. So we'd have two into minus one squared, which is two minus eight, giving us minus six. And then if we say top minus the bottom, which is minus 6, we end up with 2 and a half. So you can, as I told you, you can substitute the x so you can get the y. You can substitute the x so you can get the y. How do you know where to substitute? Look at the graph. If the coordinate is touching the exponent graph, then I'm substituting into the exponential equation. If the equation is touching the parabola graph, so if the point is touching the parabola graph, then I'm substituting into the parabola equation. So basically, whichever graph it's touching, 
that's the graph you substitute in. Now let's look at the next one. Calculate the length of GH if x is equal to 1. So now we have that this point x is 1 and right here at h we also have that the point is x. So if I want to get the y, I'm going to take my 1 and substitute it into my exponential graph which is 2 to the power of x minus 4. So I have 2 to the power of 1 minus 4 which equals to minus 2. Then I'm going to substitute h. h x is 1 but it is the parabola. So I'm going to say 2 into 1 squared minus 8 gives me minus 6. So now we have the coordinates. It's 1 and minus 2 and it's 1 and minus 6. How do I get the length? Top minus bottom. Can you see? It's minus minus 6. So we got minus 2 plus 6. We've got minus 2 plus 6 which is equal to 4. Now, if we wanted to use this method where we use the equation, can you see it's still exponent minus parabola. So we could have simply substituted and said, okay, so gh is equal to, and then we have 2 to the power of 1 minus 4 minus, open brackets 2 to the power of 1 all squared minus 8. Remember, I'm using this formula, which is the same, the exponent minus the parabola. And if you use your calculator, all you see we've got 2 minus 4 is minus 2, minus 2 is minus 4, plus 8 is 4. It will give you the same answer as this method. So it doesn't matter which method you use, you would get the same answer. But for straight line and parabola, I would emphasize that you write the equation. Exponential and hyperbola, it's not so important. You could use this method for exponential and hyperbola. That's not a problem. But for parabola and straight line, it's advisable that you use this following method where you take the equations and subtract. Thank you for watching.